guys, Carrie here. Hey, I just wanted to do this video on reduced arch form now because hopefully I'm going to start my expansion process later um, in the next three or four weeks and I'm really excited to actually be able to start moving some teeth here. I've, I've been waiting for 22 years to do this. So, um, One of the dentists I was at, when we made the clay mold of my teeth, we realized how much um, arch form I lost that contributed to my facial loss in here. Um, your first molars are supposed to be between 35 and 45 millimeters apart. The center arch in here should be between 35 and 45 millimeters apart. I actually made you guys a diagram of my upper arch and I'll get in there and show you a little bit more later. But I'm going to try to focus on this first. Okay, this is my mouth here. Ah, okay, let me get this thing level. Okay. This is my mouth here. The front incisors are just kind of pushed back. The first premolar, we did do a measurement on that, but then the first molar is only 26 millimeters apart. The second is 33, and my third molar, or wisdom tooth, is 44 millimeters. Now we're going to look at in a second how this, this diagram here changes the way my, the skin on my face hangs. Because you can see that 26 millimeters is not right. It should be between 35 and 45 millimeters. So we're going to look at how that affects my face. Um, okay, here we go. All right, I'm going to turn to the side here. And um, actually, let me do it on the side. It's easier. Okay. Um, see how my face is full right in this area? Because the 42. Ah, can you see that wisdom tooth? Is it 42 millimeters? Okay. Now, the second tooth here is at 33, so it's a little bit sunken in. It's not completely as bad as this tooth that is actually at 26 millimeters. Okay. Can you see the sinking in of my face? Can you see how, where that tooth is? is completely sinking in and not holding the skin up properly. Um, oh, I also wanted to show you guys one more angle on this. See, um, my upper arch is sunken in so bad when I... Who would want that face? I mean, you can just see that not having that second molar to take, the, to take up the space that it was supposed to be sitting in, they had to sink my face in so far to take up that room because this procedure was so unnecessary. But made the industry more money so they did it but anyway I really wanted to share this with you guys because hopefully my expansion is going to start soon and I won't have to deal with this problem anymore of the sagging in face oh I'm so excited if oh, my cheeks can actually stand up on their own but um, you can see here this actually looks okay this does not this is this is crashed in Okay, I'm going to show you guys inside now. It doesn't quite look like I'm going to be able to show you that wisdom tooth. I'll show it to you on the side, though. Oh, and you wouldn't believe how many general dentists told me to get that out because your wisdom teeth are, are in out here, and I'm thinking... When I went to, when I finally went to like a really, really qualified, expensive dentist, they told me they're the only teeth in your mouth that are actually in the right spot because there were no brackets on them. Um, so anyway, hopefully this video helps some folks. I just wanted to show you the difference because so many people think they can take two or four teeth out and they're going to put power chains on and they're going to do whatever they can to close those gaps. But the gap, how do you close those gaps? You, you lose arch space. You lose arch form. And when you lose arch form you lose what holds up your face and I didn't realize that I was so grossly um, sunken in on I, I didn't think it was this bad maybe five millimeters I thought total but I'm ten millimeters short on the low end of the scale um, anyway guys thanks for watching and hope you guys have a great day thanks I'll talk to you soon aloha